Hey y'all, so today I'm going to talk about my skincare essentials for spring. So I have quite a few products, so let's jump right in. First, we'll start with my face wash. So this is the face wash I use pretty much all the time. I actually got it from a birch box and I'm definitely gonna repurchase this. But this is the Michael Todd True Organics Honey and Oat Deep Pore Cleanser. And I really like it, especially for spring and summer. It is a little tightening after I leave it on. Like it definitely dries up all the oils in my skin, but not in a drying out way, if that makes sense. So like when I was at the beach, this came in handy because my face would get all oily and gross. So I could come back and wash it and this really cleanses everything off your face and it is great. So after I wash my face, I've started using a toner, which I probably went five years without using a toner at all. And then a couple of weeks ago, I picked it up again and I can tell a hundred percent difference in my skin. I use it normally in the morning and then sometimes at night. It says to use it in AM and PM, but I don't want to put like too much on my skin. But this is the L'Oreal Hydro Fresh Toner. And it is great. It's alcohol free, which I like. And I mean, it doesn't, like it smells like a toner, but it has more of like a moisturizer scent, which I like because some toners can be a little alcoholy and a little gross. But yeah, this makes my skin feel really good when I put it on and I would recommend this one. So I do have different morning and night moisturizers. So I'll start with my morning ones and I use two and I go back and forth between them. The first one is the Meaningful Beauty by Cindy Crawford SPF Moisturizer. And then the second one is this Mary Kay Time Wise Moisturizer with SPF. So I definitely always wear SPF during the day in my moisturizer and I'll be the first to admit I used to tan all the time like in the tanning beds in high school and seven days a week I lay out with like oil on me literally so I could just get tan and I didn't even start wearing sunscreen until like two or three years ago and I'm glad I did because I feel like you really have to protect your skin from the sun because sun damage can make you look old way too young and cause wrinkles and spots and yeah you have to protect the face but these two moisturizers, I don't really know which one I like more. I kind of just go back and forth just to have the SPF in it. But these are both really good. This one's a little more liquidy and kind of like covers more, but it takes longer to dry. So I usually use this one if I'm just like a fast fix. But yeah, this one is SPF 20 and this one is SPF 30. So, you know. Next up we have my nighttime moisturizer which I pretty much always use this Pond's dry skin cream. I've had this for a long time. I should probably get a new one. I don't know if it expires. But yeah, I just put a lot of it on at night after I wash my face and I really like it. It doesn't take much at all. I don't know if you can tell. There's still a lot in there and I use it every night. So yeah, it lasts a long time which is good I will link to all of these products down below in case you're interested but yeah it's really moisturizing it I wake up with my face feeling moisturized and great so that's good okay and I have my final face skincare product and this is the formula 10.0.6 don't know what that means oh that's the company but yeah, it's the Deep Down Detox Mud Mask. And I normally use this when I'm taking a bath and I just rub it on all over my face and leave it for like 20 minutes and wash it off. And I really, really like it. It really, it cleanses really well. It's kind of hard to take off. Like you have to really wash your face after to get all the, you know, muddy stuff off. But it works really well. It cleanses, it rehydrates my skin while at the same time like taking out the extra oiliness so this is a great mask okay and now we're going on to body care so I have this I actually just got this from Ulta and it's the C Booth Mimosa Honeysuckle Body Souffle 
and it is a very good moisturizer. And actually, I got this because I wanted an exfoliator, and some of these were body scrub, and some of these were body souffles, and I accidentally picked up a body souffle, so that kind of sucks. Because I kind of need a scrub. But yeah, it smells really good. It smells like mimosa honeysuckle. Oops, I covered it back up. Whoop. Whoop. Yeah, it's very fresh and fruity smelling, but the scent's not too strong because I don't really like too strong smells on me. And yeah, I really like it. I used it last night after shaving and yeah, it's good. And finally, you can't leave out the Bath & Body Works lotions because they smell amazing. This one is the Japanese Cherry Blossom and I actually think I got this for Christmas. And I used to not wear a lot of lotion, but now I really can tell a difference if I don't. And this one smells amazing. So don't miss out on getting your own body lotion in my giveaway, throwing in a little shameless self-promotion here. But I will link below to my video from last week with the giveaway on it. So you can be sure to enter before it runs up next week. So yeah, be sure to do that. You can win a Bath & Body Works lotion and candle, which both smell amazing. So those are my skincare essentials for spring. It's a lot of hydrating products, a lot of removing the oil products, because when it gets hotter, your skin definitely starts acting different. At least mine does, because during the winter months, it's more dry, and during spring and summer, it gets a little more shiny and oily. So yeah, these are great products. I can tell a huge difference since I started using all of them together, and yeah, they're great. I'll link to all these below, and I will link to my giveaway video below, so be sure to check those out, and thanks for watching. Bye!